Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Rock House, where spiritual growth is and always will be. Okay, I need to get up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh man, oh, y'all, thank you for joining me. Oh, let me. Y'all, eyes tied. You hear me? Eyes tied. Translation I am tired. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yesterday was a long hard day a long hard day of serving people and y'all know folk can work a nerve they can really take you to another level <laughs> they can push some buttons and really cause you to question some things <laughs> but oh my gosh serving 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 others is was is really intense yesterday um they pushed me to the limit asking for this, asking questions, uh, complaining constantly about things, just going on and on and on and on and on as if I was God and I could fix the whole world and fix all their problems. Poof. How many of y'all know people like that? How many times have you served somebody and you get no thank you, no acknowledgement of gratitude, no, hey, appreciate what you're doing. You're working so hard. Thank you for doing all that you're doing for me. I'm sure we've all experienced that at some point in time in our life, if you've given or given of yourself or served anybody at any point in time, you've experienced the ungratitude, the ungratefulness, uh, the unappreciation for your hard work, your services and everything you're doing to make sure that this person is comfortable, that uh, their situation is resolved, that they have a little happy in their trial, that they have some uh, um, excitement or they uh, their issue is fixed. <laughs> you bend over backwards and they don't even say thank you. Y'all, I experienced that yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. Mm. But I'm not saying this to complain. Uh, I'm saying it because I want to make a point. What if God got tired? What if he got tired of doing for us, blessing us, protecting us, providing for us? What if God got tired? Hmm. It, it helped me kind of put a different perspective on when I serve. If God got tired of serving me and blessing me and doing for me gosh <laughs> ain't no telling where i'd be well i know where i'd be but wow it really put th puts things in perspective so when i woke up this morning and thought about that i thought wow don't complain about it just keep serving keep serving keep serving because god does it for us all the time all the time and he has the capacity, you know, to do that because he's God. But that's no excuse because he gave his only begotten son so that we could have fellowship with him. And thinking about that, you know how you get tired when you serve and you give and you give, and you don't, you're not appreciated and it hurts. And sometimes you just want to throw in the towel. Well, think about this. Think about when Christ uh, was, um, when he got tired, his human side. He wanted to throw in the towel. He wanted to be done. And he asked the father uh, if he would take this cup from him. 
if it was God, if he said, Father, if it's your will, take this cup from me. So he got tired, y'all. He got tired. He got tired. So we ain't the only ones that get tired. He got tired. Tired of us complaining and tired of us beating him and beating him down and being so unappreciative. But you know what? He persevered. He persevered and he pushed through so that uh, he could fulfill the purpose that God had placed on him and fulfill uh, what was necessary so that we could have fellowship with God. Wow. Because of his obedience and because of his perseverance, we're here today. We're here today and we have a connection, we have a fellowship with God. That's amazing. That's awesome. And <clears throat> that helps me reflect and think about some things when I'm serving now. Now, don't complain. I won't complain. I may get a little frustrated. I may get tired, which I was tired yesterday. <laughs> and I was tired this morning. But I think about Christ and what he did. He persevered. So persevere when you're serving and you are not appreciated. When you don't get those thank yous, persevere. Keep going. Keep going. Because your obedience in what you're doing is going to help somebody else to recognize and see the love of God. Don't let them miss that. Don't let them miss that. That's awesome. So I'm not gonna make this long today, especially since it's time for me to get going and I just got up and gotta get going and get things going. Gotta get back out there and serve some more people. Hopefully they don't have me running around like a runaway Hebrew slave. Cause they had me so busy. I was like a one legged man in a fanny kicking contest, but I was getting it in y'all. I was getting it in. And if I'm tired today, Lord, give me strength. Give me strength. That strength from deep down under to persevere. You guys, um, thanks for joining me here at the rock house. It's all about growing spiritually together and making this a great year. And speaking of growing spiritually, <laughs> We've grown. We've grown from two subscribers to boom, 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 50. You know why 50 is such a significant number? 50 is good because I'll be turning 50 this year. So thank you for the 50 subscribers that we have. You all are awesome. Let's keep on going. Let's keep growing. Because you know it's not about the subscribers. The Rock House is all about growing spiritually together. Because ain't nobody perfect up in here. We all growing. So as always... Love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. See you on the other side. Peace.